Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today we have a Hunter thermostat. It's digital, where you just type on. Okay, so we changed the batteries, and it said batteries are still all used up. Couldn't figure out what was going on. I checked all my connections. Everything looked good. And I didn't notice it the first time, but when I took it out the second time, I noticed the battery box in the back was pretty corroded up as you can see it's a lot cleaner now than what it was and I'm gonna make this side look like this side that I done cleaned and the code that kept popping up is it was saying the batteries are all used up and it would not uh, kick the heat on or anything like that because it was saying the signal was basically dead to the furnace because the batteries wasn't giving it the uh, power it needed. I don't particularly like this kind, but it is what it is. It's what's here. So we're going to make this side. Let me get my phone so we're going to use we're going to get this side to look like this side now, after I've done cleaned it. Let me move that string out of the way so you can see. See how nice and clean that is. <clears throat> so what you'll need is electrical contact cleaner. I use when I do the battery terminals or any electrical connections that's dirty on equipment or anything like that. You'll need some of this and the smallest wire brush I could find was a battery terminal brush. So it's your choice of whatever you want to use. If you don't want to use that, it's per it's perfectly fine. You can use whatever you like. But <sighs> this is how I fixed mine. So what I did first was spray this on there and let it set for a couple, like maybe a minute or so. And it broke the biggest part of it. And loosened it up and then I sprayed well I sprayed it one more time after that and let it sit there and as it was still wet I just used a brush and turned it on spots and just went across you know just get it the best you can and now I'm going to do this side I'll bring you back in one second Okay, as you can see, we have a dirty right now. I'm just going to use this cloth to wipe it off. And there you have it. That side looks just as good as that side now. Other than that little back corner, my brush won't reach back there, but it'll be alright. I'll work on it a little bit more. And I will tell you these little pins had a lot of dust and so it's sitting on the wall like this so you lay it the face down these little pins right here had a lot of corroding on them too and use a good name battery in them and it will help prevent that from being corroded up so I'm going to clean these now and I will bring you back in a second. Okay, so I went to loss of power completely and when it did flash it would say batteries are all used up and as you see now, it's not saying anything. So let's take it and try it now. And this is what the panel looks like where this slides onto the wall. So we're going to slide it on there. Make sure you push it back good. And we'll run it up to 73 or 72. Because it's like 20 or 38 outside the day. So we set our permanent hold. Should hear a little bit of a click and there 
So you seen the fire button pop up there? I mean, it kicked the heat on. And I have to go through and reprogram it all. But we have heat coming out of the vent now and have the pellet stove for backup just in case. But I figured this might help someone, especially if it keeps just saying error code on it. Like I said, this is Adam and this is the Hunter. If I can get it to focus. Thermostat. So y'all have a wonderful day. God bless and y'all stay safe. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.